what's up guys? I've lost seven kilograms. And that was just from the haircut. Boo. Shut Boo. up! Boo. Stop! Ah! It's Pokemon Shattered Glass! By Remint. Sorry, did I say Shattered Glass? I meant Stained Glass. Big difference. Holy shit, it's been a while since we've done uh, one of these little uh, Pokemon toy videos, or like a Remint coverage video. Um, there is so many of these products out there. I, I only cover like 15% as they're coming out. These come out just as quick as new Pokemon uh, card releases. So let's say, ooh, woo, woo! I haven't actually had, well th that actually looks like shattered glass. I've not had a look at these, but when was the last time we saw a Lugia? In, a, in like a set like this. I don't think we've ever seen a Lugia. I think they like to keep it to the like cute little dainty Pokemon that fit this sort of aesthetic. So I'm happy to see my boy getting some love. So how, how do these things work? We have, we've got a base like this. Okay, so that's the backdrop. And we have another piece. Ooh, multi-piece. Ooh, damn, that looks absolutely delicious. Don't eat that. Do eat the little sour apple gum. Are they ever gonna rotate this out, Remit? You ever going to change the gum? Okay, so this is sort of interesting. This clump goes on the wall, and then he goes on like so, and then we've got some lightning bolts that go in the front, like so, and here it is! Lugia! Center stage! I need to get one of those, like, uh, little jewelry rotation things. Also, it's hard to tell with this one, but this is actually the Japanese name. He just shares the same name. And we have a Master Ball here, so I'm gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see if the non-legendaries have that Master Ball or if that's a little detail for the legendary beast. Anyway, you'll see what I mean by the name in a second as we pull some more of these. I like the boxes, they're very uh regal. Very, very clean, very classy. Elegant. All right, I'm just saying words now. Let's see what we have next. We have uh, 10 boxes here today. I think there's only six in the set. Okay, this is a great example I, so I can show off <laughs> what I'm talking about. Hold on. For anyone who remembers me in the past uh, making fun of Umbreon's Japanese name, you know what you're in for. Everyone else, feast your eyes on this. The headstone of Blackie. One, Blackie. Blackie is the name of Umbreon in Japanese, but we're seeing the English words for it here. Also, Pokeball. So the Lugia with the Master Ball at the top. It's a nice detail, I like that. So we've got this uh, sort of um, outdoor purple grass. I'm just explaining things that you can see. I am providing valuable information to the viewer. All right, Umbreon, let's get a little look at you. You're bounding. So he's running through the grass. Ooh, all right. We actually get some, some foreground grass right here. All right, let's just shove it in. Let's see if we can uh, make this work. All right, so he's leaping over like so. Have I got this on backwards? It kind of looks like he's facing the wrong way there. And there he is, Blackie. I guess, you, yeah, you kind of, he has to be like that, right? I guess it's just sort of weird. I would have thought he'd be, unless I am mentally deranged, there's a way I can plug him in another way. I don't think so though. Okay, wait a second. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't know why I, I thought that that meant he was forced the other direction. Okay, I, okay, my gut was right. He, he, yes, that looks so much better. I guess I'll just leave me looking like a moron in there. Okay, that, yeah, look at that. That looks so much better. The boys. Okay, let's open up another one. We've got a Pikachu on the front. We haven't got a Pikachu yet. We've got a Gardevoir. A Gardevoir. A Gardevoir. Ooh la la. It's the lovely flower psychic uh, princess. Here she is. Or she's a queen, really, I guess. Curlia is more of a princess. And we have the... That's the Japanese name? Sir Knight? That... 
Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, you just you say that if this <laughs> if you said that in English, it's got completely different connotations. Or I just mean those words in English. It's like sir and knight. Very non-fitting. Obviously, different in Japan. But uh, there you go. A lovely floral stained glass. And what do we have for this? We've got a bunch of pink petals. Lovely. We shove this on. Like, so, no, ooh, wait, like that? Ah, there we go. She sits on like so, shove it in here, and then when we put the front thing on, okay, it's all sort of coming together now. Yeah, there we go. We got the ebbs, we got the flows. Sir Knight. Man, let's see. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the next one. Lugia! Man, fuck this dude! Get a real name, loser! Multi-geographic named Pokemon. Have an ass. I think that's the legendaries that usually uh, have the same name across both. Or all. Sorry, sometimes I forget there's other places besides English-speaking countries and Japan that end up with Pokemon names, obviously. Next! What do we have in this one? What do we got, Pikachu? We got a Pikachu yet? Let's see, flip it. We got a Pikachu. There it is. Obligatory Pikachu. Do we get an Eevee in this set or are they done shoving that down our throats? When there's only six and you keep coming back to Eevee and Pikachu. I mean, I guess you can count Black. He kind of, he, he once was an Eevee. All right, so uh, Pikachu, beautiful gold Pikachu header there. Uh, just the, the lovely forest, Viridian forest, perhaps. Let's take a look at the figure. Ooh, very cute. Gigantic head, though. Or maybe that looks normal, and I have not looked at Pikachu in a while. I'm not sure. Uh, we put the grass down, which kind of uh, goes against the background, like a little, uh, it's a little grassy knoll here. And your boy Pikachu is just tumbling down. Look at that. He's just, like, flying. He's jumping over the, the fence to drop down to this sort of... Uh, Grass area, I think. Or perhaps he's doing some sort of electrical move. There's the current. There's our Pikachu. They kind of um, sit in a weird way where this is sort of, you know, the angle is kind of weird when you look at it from the side. But there you go. Maybe if I... Nope. Uh, nope. That's kind of just how it be. But there you go, everybody. That's uh, Pikachu. I'll give you one last close-up look. Ooh, it's, you've even got the, the little leaves, painted on leaves on top of the electricity that sort of ties it all together nicely. I like that little detail. Okay, another box. Let's see what we get. Who are we missing? We've got four so far. This looks new. It looks like Mew. Yes! Uh, Mew, again. This is uh, a Pokemon we see reoccurring a lot with these uh, cutesy little toys. He fits the bill. He, he definitely looks different across each iteration of these sets. Let's take a look at the stained glass. Woo! Now, I ain't gay, but Mew, you've got a beautiful headstone, my friend. Is this the headstone? No, that's, that's, that. Let's do that instead next time. Let's do Pokemon gravestones. That'll be a fun little set. All right, what do we got? Is, oh, is this a set of Mew anal beads? Wow, Pokemon, I've been waiting for this. And we got two plastic bits. All right, let's plug this in to the gorgeous pastel background. And Mew goes, it's even got a spot for his tail up here. So his tail goes there. And you can plug his little pink butthole over the bubbles. <laughs> Look at that, man. These sort of um, bubbles as this acrylic is, is, a, is a beautiful aesthetic. I, I like that. All right, so we plug him in. Then we've got bubbles, bubbles, and that's uh, Mew, everyone. Look at the layers. Look at the goddamn layers on this sucker. There it is. Ooh, and um, again, up the top, legendary Pokemon. He gets a Master Ball at the very top of his uh, plaque. Um, yep, lovely, beautiful. That's, that might be one of my favorite ones, I think. But there you go, Lugia, Blackie, Sir Knight, Pikachu, and Mew. Only missing one, but a couple more boxes to go. Let's have a look in this one. Oh, it is a double Pikachu. Next, do you have the missing Pokemon? All right, we've got, nope, we've got Mew. It's a duplicate Mew. Man, I thought you were supposed to be the ancestor of all Pokemon. What's this about? This must be a ditto who's mastered the art of covering his eyes. Okay, another one. Don't let me get it down to the line. Okay, I think this is it. Yes, this looks for Oh! What? Okay, I guess you chuck Lugia in here. You get a ho-ho. What the? Damn. 
three legendaries. Here's a quick look at him on his own. Uh, he's sort of got like a... Oh, I like the, like the inside of his tail. I like how that be doing that. Sort of wear him as a finger puppet. Yes, the Pokemon man is fingering the bird. Let's, let's keep this in context, folks. Ooh, we've got the, the actual tower from the games. What's this tower called? You find ho at the very top or something? Also, I think for each of these things, we've had the Pokemon's type here in like a little ball. Uh, so all the way at the top here. Of course, we have the Master Ball, and his name, I think, is still said the same, Ho-Oh. So the legendary naming convention doesn't have a fallacy there at all. It it's still works. It's just different spelling. I think you still say it basically the same. I mean, there might be some exceptions. I think I just remember hearing that it was uh, legendaries that basically uh, had the same name across. This looks like uh, Goku's little cloud. Let's plug this bitch in. Let's see what this thing's made of. All right. Yep, he's got a butthole. That goes right on there. Ooh, and he is fierce. Look at that. He's really like popping off that thing. Chuck him on his base. Put his little effects on. And there he goes. Damn. He going to town. All right, let's bring it back. There you go. Now, uh, which one was your favorite? Comment down below. And which, uh, <laughs> let me know below your favorite English, favorite Pokemon's name in Japanese but with the English phonetic spelling. I'm sure there is some hilarious ones. Let me know why you think it's it's a great name. There it is, the full collection of, uh, the full stained glass collection. I think this is a new thing, but obviously uh, I could be wrong. Doing an Eevee Heroes pack, one per video. If you don't want to click on a video, at least click to see what we get from Eevee Heroes. It's always a treat with classics like Vanilla Espeon V. So this is actually the second time I've pulled it. So he hasn't been too common, but uh, there you go. One pack, one V for the day. Pretty good. Let's see if we can draw my ratio into the ground when we open up one of these. Okay, one to the front. We have in this pack. What? Back to back, two packs of the day. Both V hits. We've got, where is my super suit? Galarian Articuno. Well, actually, it looks, it's, I, I don't know why. I, oh, wait, it's the line I like to say, but it, I, I say it because it looks like he's actually wearing the super suit. Damn, two different sets, two beautiful psychic purple V Pokemon. And now it's time for Max Mofo's postcard collection. This segment postcard, this one. Here you go. Have that! Now this is, this is Team Plasma. I think I mistook maybe Team Skull for Team Plasma at one point or something. P for Plasma or Pokemon or Piranha Plant or Peter Griffin. And this concludes our random eBay lot of postcards that were uh, clearly from a, a series back in 2018 from the Pokemon Center. So if you haven't liked these uh, rough kind of cardboardy ones, we will be on to something new next video so thanks for watching oh and just before you go sorry i did um just for the title sake to say i opened 10 i do need to open up this last one even though we got them all it's just the rules i don't want to lie with the title you know and um it's an additional uh, blackie lovely thanks so much for watching guys if you want to support me buying children's little connectable plastic toys, uh, feel free to pick up the Max Mofo merch with the link at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirtswithaz.cool. Anything else you buy from that website on checkout, remember always to use M-O-E-F-O-E -E code MOFO to save 10%. Uh, click a another video on screen, watch another toy opening or something, and I'll see you guys next time.